Christ, I am so, so, so pissed this afternoon because I just received a message from somebody who was helping to get visa to Spain that her visa has been denied. Why? Because she sent a false bank statement. She asked a traveling agent to help her with a bank statement and her visa has been denied because of that. Look, gosh, I don't understand. Like I hardly get people to give me that necessary information that I have, but I go out my way my busy life, my busy time to give information to people, help them personally to get all the necessary details, all the tricks and what they have to do to get things right. Then they go messing it up. When you're dealing with a public office that is representing a country, you cannot falsify any document. You're going to be in trouble or you're going to be banned from that country forever. Or you're going to be just punished severely. That will affect your damage your reputation so in this video i just want to help you with how to build your bank statement for visa application now i will share a little bit of my story of how i built mine and one of the things that i did master plan i would like to think that that is a master plan that is a smart like move that i made and i got my visa and i look at me i'm here i did everything by myself i didn't have this much information and this much knowledge that i have now then i had nothing i was doing everything by myself so like okay first bank statement is one of the most important requirements because the embassy does want to know if you have enough fund to sustain yourself in their country for the duration of time you are going to be in their country so that you don't become a burden onto their governments all right so they will ask you for that now some of them will specify how much of money is expected to see in your bank account and some of them they don't okay so when you know the exact amount it's quite great when you don't know the exact amount you have to do it on your own by doing research to know the cost of living okay the average cost of living of that country and then you have like that average amount per month in your bank account per the amount of time you want to say so if it's like um, $600 or pounds or euros is the average cost of living in the said country you're going to and you're going to live there for six months you multiply 600 500 400 or whatever the amount is by that six months and that is what you should have in your account plus more because you will need to make other miscellaneous expenses it's just the way to go about it in my case what I did is my bank statement or my bank account was already existing. It was a business account for my business. I was running a spa business in Ghana at the time I was applying. So the account has been there for years running, okay? I've been depositing and withdrawing. It was quite a busy uh, account. I've been making purchases in abroad. I bought my massage tables in the U.S., made people... <clears throat> ship it to me so the account was quite busy all right and then um the the embassy will ask you for three to six months most embassy are for three months some will ask for six months so um you have to have like um a um busy account for six months with like the specific amount in that account okay I've told you that my account was running busy for long, so I didn't have a problem. If you don't have an account and you are planning to travel, you have to have a bank account and start, build, start building it. Withdraw money from it, deposit money from it, by your name or, or by yourself, by other people, and make other people also withdraw money. Give them a um, check. Because this is how it was in Ghana when I was say years ago. We're having checkbook. So you give checks to people to withdraw the money. 
you can go with the person and then they withdraw the money and you take it okay then you split it so let's say you make someone withdraw 500 uh cities for you okay you get the money you go back and then you deposit 350 another time you deposit like 100 then another time you deposit the 50 so it makes the account busy and um it's there is no foul play there you understand what i mean in my case i had enough funds in my bank account but i wanted more i wanted to prove to the embassy that i had enough fun i'm not going to be a burden onto their government i had euros and i had dollars and um to change all of that into cities and add it to my bank accounts to reflect enough funds in my bank statement would depreciate my euros when i change it back in from cities to euros from euros to cities and cities to euros that is just going to depreciate the money and so what i did was i had somebody a friend who didn't have problem with money well to be honest that guy wanted to fuck me he had enough money i saw an opportunity so girls opportunity use them to your benefit you don't have to take off your pants before you take any opportunity be a positive opportunist okay so that's what i did that guy we had some kind of trust already he wanted to knock me so i played a smart move I said, I need help. I have this amount of money, which is equivalent to 20,000 Ghana cities. And I want 20 Ghana cities. I will give you my euros. And in this time frame, I will come back with your 20 Ghana cities to collect my euros. This guy was nice and kind enough to not spend my euros because then I would have been in trouble because I'll have less money, you know, when I change that cities back into the euros. So this is what happened. He gave me the money, the 20,000 CDs, and I split it into various amounts. I deposited it by myself. I asked my siblings to deposit some into my account, and then I withdraw again just to make it busy, nothing fishy at that period of time, okay? So that's what I did. And at the end of the day, I had enough money enough money in my bank account okay so it's reflected in my bank statement after i applied for the visa and i gained i returned the money back to the person and i got my euros back and i traveled with my euros like it was this simple this trick now you necessarily don't have to be in that situation okay um and one doubt or one thing you would like to know is how did i get euros well i had friends okay who uh, were coming in and then also i was running a spa business and most of my clients or customers that come in there are foreigners so when somebody comes in and they have euros or dollars and they don't want to go and change we tell them i we can you can pay in that amount so you pay the equivalent of cities in euros or dollars then i keep that money because you cannot have um an euro uh, bank account in Ghana at that time or dollars bank account at that time. So I was keeping it under my carpet. <laughs> yes, I keep it neat and under my carpet. Be careful so that nobody robs you. But I was doing that and that's how I had the euros. I, I saved enough euros. I think it was, it was like uh, 7,000 euros or something. Equivalent to 20 Ghana cities um, at a time. Between 20 um 13 to 2014 yeah so that is how i built my account okay and that's the little trick that i did this trick when i came to spain i realized that other people were doing it um my russian friends and ukrainian friends and other friends from the eastern europe who were not part of the eu living in spain who needs to renovate their residency were doing the same thing they will ask their friends to just deposit money it wasn't their money they'll ask people to deposit money into their account so that it reflects that they have enough fund in their bank statement to apply for their resident renovation. That's it. 
So it's this um, tricky and simple. Give yourself enough amount of time to build your 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 uh, bank account before you apply for the visa. Don't go and ask any other person to apply. In most cases, they don't. The only person that in this case she was applying for Spanish emb uh, visa, and in the Spanish embassy they require that the only person's bank statement you could use should be your parents and they should be the one who are sponsoring your education which is fair but in some cases it's not like that it's not necessarily your parents sponsoring your education it could be somebody who isn't your parent but this embassy is not accepting that they are accepting either your bank statement or your parent bank statement i hope that this video does help you to build like a good bank statement within three months or six months and um make it look clean legit and believable so that you'll be granted your visa because no embassy will grant you a visa when they know that you don't have enough fund and you're going to be a burden or to their government in their country no no embassy wants that all right so this is it for this video i hope i'm going to be come mm. anyway be you be bold um go do you go be you um say whatever you want to say do whatever you want to do as long as you're not hurting anyone but most of all be motivated and inspired i will see you in the next video and it's adios stay motivated and inspired